Hi, thanks for joining me. Firstly, Merry Christmas. I thought long and hard as to how to make a, a Christmas related maths video and I couldn't really think of any sort of cool ideas, but I thought my Christmas gift to you would be a nice IMO problem. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is arguably one of the easiest IMO problems ever, and obviously when I say easy, I mean easy compared to other IMO problems. Um, there's perhaps another contender, there are probably a few contenders actually, but I made a video about one in which I solve an IMO problems in two minutes. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below as well. Anyway, this is the problem I'm going to be tackling today. It's question one from IMO 1964. Part A and part B. Part A is to find all natural numbers n such that 7 divides 2 to the n minus 1. And part B, prove that for any natural number n, 7 never divides 2 to the n plus 1. So the first part, we want to find natural numbers n such that 2 to the n minus 1 is a multiple of 7, and B, we want to prove that 2 to the n plus 1 is never a multiple of 7. Okay, so if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to jump straight into a solution. Okay, so to answer part A, what we're going to do is look at the powers of 2 mod 7, so the remainder when you divide 2 to the n by 7. So let's look at the first one, first power of 2, so 2 to the 1. That's just 2. 2 squared, that's 4. 2 cubed is 8. But of course, 8 is congruent to 1 mod 7 because 8 is 7 plus 1 and 7 is a multiple of 7. Okay, so this is congruent to 1 mod 7. 2 to the 4 now is 16, but that of course is 14 plus 2 and 14 is a multiple of 7. So this is congruent to 2 mod 7. And let's just do one more. 2 to the 5 is 32, oh, that's 2 to the 5, which is 32, but of course 32 is 28 plus 4, and 28 is a multiple of 7. So this is congruent to 4, mod 7. Now, hopefully you can spot a pattern, we get 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, and then the next one will also be 1, that's 2 to the 6, which is 64, which is 1 more than 63, and 63 is a multiple of 7. So we're going to get this pattern, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, and that's sort of the residues of... Uh, of 2 to the n when you look at it in mod 7. So let me just write that up. 2 to the n, oh, n mod 7 sort of gives us this sequence of numbers. It goes 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, and so on. There's a dot, dot, dot there. Okay, so of course that means 2 to the n minus 1. If we look at that mod 7, that's going to give us this sequence here. The exact same thing as that. But I'm subtracting 1 from each element, so I get 1, 3, 0, 1, 3, 0, and so on. And we see that every third element is a 0, and that corresponds to being divisible by 7, because obviously if something is 0 mod 7, that means it's divisible by 7. Okay, so this is the case n equals 3, which is when, of course, we have 2 cubed minus 1, which is 2 to the 8, uh, sorry, 2 cubed, which is 8, minus 1, which is 7, and obviously 7 is a multiple of 7. And then we get this one here, which is n equals 6, which is 2 to the 6 minus 1, which is 64 minus 1, which is 63, which obviously a multiple of 7. The next one will be n equals 9, and so on. So the solution to part A is when n is a multiple of 3. And now to answer part 2, or part B, it's pretty much a freebie from all the work we've done here. But I'm just going to clean up the whiteboard and write it out for completeness sake. Okay, so we saw that the solution to part A was whenever n is a multiple of 3. So whenever n is a multiple of 3, 7 divides 2 to the n minus 1. Now we want to look at when, oh, we want to prove that 7 never divides 2 to the n plus 1. So in other words, 2 to the n plus 1 is never a multiple of 7. So we're going to use this result which we just worked, uh, worked out. So 2 to the n mod 7 gives us a sequence 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, and so on. So then, of course, 2 to the n plus 1, very similar to what we did before. So we're adding 1 to each term now. This, gives, this is going to give us 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 2, and so on. But notice, in particular, none of these, those numbers, 3, 5, or 2, they're not 0 mod 7, okay? So in particular, none of these numbers here leaves 0 when you uh, divide by 7, so none of these here are multiples of 7, and that proves this result here, that 7 never divides 2 to the n plus 1. Anyway, that's the solution, perhaps one of the easiest IMO problems you'll ever see. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.